How much money have you spent on her in a year and a half? I don't know, Ma. Some grams. How many grams? 20, 30, I guess. Wow. Ah, love is in the air. It's just gonna cost you twenty or thirty thousand dollars. We've already talked about the trifecta of simpage, and let's be honest, no one's ever going to top David. But Deontay is a worthy addition to the club. I don't know, ma. Some grands. I don't know. Some grands. Twenty, thirty, forty. It, you can't put a price on love. I don't even keep track of it. What you don't understand, mom, is if I keep giving her stuff and giving her money, there is a very small chance that she will sleep with me. And if that's what it takes to be in love, then that's what it takes. Wow. On what? When she has been incarcerated the whole time you on what commissary and stuff huh I like this little hand gesture he does as if that was a ridiculous question. What do you think she spent the money on? Jeez, she needed it. It was for cigarettes and ramen noodles. That's a high price for love. That's all I can tell you. A very high price. Yeah, his mother pretty much just tells it to him straight. And the crazy thing about this is he's already been through this before with someone else and spent like 20 or 30 grand on them as well. This girl just wants to use you, okay? She told you that she went on that inmate line looking for someone to take them for their money. So yeah, this girl Nicole he's talking to straight up admitted to him that she went on that website in the first place just to find people to send money to her. She also says that she didn't develop feelings for him until six months after they started talking, meaning that she saw him only as a source of money for a long time and admitted it to him. And she said she wasn't expecting to find a relationship. She said I was one in a million. She's not buying it. What? She said you were one in a million? Dude, you should totally send her like $30,000. When I first started talking to you and you sent me some money, I was like, wow, this guy's one in a thousand. And then you sent me 30 grand and I was like, you're one in a million. What's up? My name's Deontay. I'm in a relationship with this beautiful blonde. I can't stand materialistic people. I can't stand shallow people. Oh, perfect. It sounds like you picked the right person. Babe, I'm so glad I have you. I just cannot stand people that are shallow and materialistic. It's a good thing you're not like that. Anyway, here's $500. But remember, I wouldn't be giving you this money if I thought you were materialistic. I also wouldn't be buying all of these things for you if I thought you were materialistic. What up, boy? What up? Chillin'. Derek is my best friend. I've known that man for 27 years. <laughs> you really bought her Michael Kors? That's what she wanted. Damn AirPod. That's what she wanted. Can't stand materialistic people. How is it even possible to simultaneously hold those two thoughts? You're saying you can't stand materialistic people, and then your friend asks, why are you buying her all this stuff? And you said, because that's what she wanted, which means that she's... All right, you know what? This is one of those guys that you could never explain this to. He's never going to see it any other way. He's going to have to learn for himself once she completely screws him over. I like Deontay's friend here because he knows exactly what's going on and he comes over just to laugh at the whole situation. So because you talked to her for a year and a half, she just deserves a thousand dollars walking out of prison. I'm on- Hell yeah. I don't think this dude's smile has gone away at any point during this entire show so far. No matter what the situation is or what mood he's in, even if he gets angry, he still has this smile on his face. I want my family or friends to just understand and not just straight judge based off the fact that this woman is an inmate. He also barely opens his mouth when he speaks. Someone in the comments of one of these videos pointed out that he would be a great ventriloquist. In fact, maybe that's why he's able to afford to give her so much money. Maybe he's living the lavish ventriloquist lifestyle. My little sex what the fuck? toy or torso that I got, whatever you want to call it. I've actually named her Nicole Jr. Oh God, what is happening now? Dude, what are you, what are you doing? I don't want to call it anything. What are you, Nicole Jr.? Is she supposed to be flattered by that and not completely disturbed? Let me get you all cleaned off. How are you going to do she's that? She's told oh, me she's never been dude, with a black guy. Come on. So. Oh. Ah, yes, we have reached that wonderful moment where they meet for the first time in person and then they can be happy for about five minutes before all hell breaks loose. The honeymoon period for relationships on this show typically lasts about 15 minutes. Yes, sir! <laughs> oh, ah, 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 ah. Oh. All she sees is a giant dollar sign walking over to her. And you can immediately tell that she's not interested in him at all. She'll barely even look him in the eyes. Oh. oh my god. Baby. Oh my god. I want stuff in my hand. Oh. All right, I hope that was worth $30,000 because that's pretty much all you're going to get. And I'm not even kidding. I could probably bet my life that this relationship is not going to work out and still sleep fine without a care in the world. When I walked out of the prison and I saw Deontay waiting for me, it was the best feeling ever. It's my heart right here. Straight up. I'd be pretty excited too if I was about to get a thousand dollars and a bunch of free shit. So, 
I don't know if I'm gonna stay at your house tonight. It's me or no. I know that you Alright, so right away she says that she doesn't want to stay at his place, even though they already talked about that being the plan. And the most action that this poor dude is gonna get is this glance over at her as she's taking her sweatshirt off. I know that you want me to, but I just feel like... <sighs> I don't want to say you want to. I just haven't seen my mom in a really long time. I also haven't seen my ex-boyfriend in a while, so I figured this would be a good opportunity to talk to him. I had planned on seeing my mom and then going to his place. But now that I'm out, my anxiety is so bad. Even being hugged is kind of making me feel uncomfortable. Oh, wow. That is so convenient. I was just wondering how she was going to find a way not to sleep with him or touch him or get near him. Now, this is obviously a real thing for a lot of people, but it's total BS with her, no doubt in my mind. Oh my gosh, this is my mom's house. Sorry, so we're never going to go meet her and everything. Um, I think I'm just going to go in here by myself. So, well, hold on, what now? Yeah, listen, you're great and everything, and I appreciate all the money, but I don't like you. So there's really no reason for you to meet my mother, because you don't really mean very much to me. But at the same time, all that money stuff, that's cool. That's really cool. You should keep that up. I gotta, I gotta be cool. It's the first day out. But at the same time, you know, I did not expect to be sleeping in my bed alone. Alone? Dude, what about Nicole Jr.? You should tell her about that. Then she'll definitely want to come over. So Nicole goes into her mother's house alone and then whips out her phone that Deontay bought for her and then starts to text her ex-boyfriend. Just because I'm in love with him doesn't mean I don't want to talk to anybody else anymore. I literally just got out of prison. I'm not married. Like, I have a lot of life to live in. You may not be married, but Deontay thinks you two are engaged. Can you imagine accepting 30 grand from someone and then lying to them and screwing them over this badly? I mean, she wasted no time. She was texting her ex, like, less than an hour after getting out of prison. Hey, babe. What's up, babe? Kind of felt some type of way about last night. Oh, what? I didn't want to stay with you? Wow, she really looks like she cares about what he's saying. Listen, dude, you hooked me up with this phone and, and you expect me not to use it and not to text my ex-boyfriend? That's on you, you know? The respect you got for me as a man, the respect you got for our relationship, and it's just gonna be what it is, and I just keep it in the back of my mind. Are you done? Yeah, I'm done. Oh, I'm not finna argue with you today and be in a bad mood. Listen, this relationship works a lot better if you just drive me around, buy me stuff, and then just leave me alone. I feel like it's way too soon for him to be trying to have sex with me. Like, you don't even know my favorite color. You want to sleep with me and you don't even know my favorite color? Man, that's the secret right there. You, sh you gotta figure out her favorite color first. No wonder this has been going wrong. Her ex-boyfriend, now he knows her favorite color. So right now, they're going to get her hair done, which he's paying for, obviously. And as that's happening, he's gonna go buy her a bunch of stuff in another store. Mr. Beast calls himself the human ATM. Pfft. He doesn't have shit on this guy. This girl, Nicole, has pretty much created her own human ATM, and now she's just trying to perfect her craft. Deontay's out buying me a new dress right now. Is he? He bought me a bunch of gifts, too. He bought me two Michael Kors watches, three pairs of Jordans. <laughs> uh, Barbie does Barbie not has care. time maintenance. <laughs> I can't stand materialistic people. So what do you think of Deontay as like a person though? Like what are, what do you like about him? Wait, I don't understand. Were you not listening? He gives me stuff. So people, when they get together in relationships, typically like things about each other. What do you like about Deontay? Uh, let's see. Hmm. Um. Hmm. Uh. Uh, I, can't stand 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 I like the fact that he can't stand shallow or materialistic people. He has no tolerance for that. Hey, what do you think he wants in return? I mean, I know what he wants in return, <laughs> but he's not going to get it. God, she makes this guy look so bad on this show. This is really embarrassing. I, I gotta, I might have to end this. I was like very committed to Deontay. But like right before I got out, I did end up like sleeping with a girl. But I don't feel like girls is cheating because I don't know. I just don't feel like it is. All right. Even if that were true, you're still talking to your ex-boyfriend. So I don't know how you could say you're above cheating or that you're not cheating. It's finally time for some romance. Let's see if Deontay can get his money's worth. I will try one on, but you can look, but you cannot touch. 
Oh, don't tease me like that. But I don't have to try one on if you don't want me to. Now, that's ahead, no, those ahead, rules no, are no, bad try for on, please. Oh, man, this is brutal. She did that with such anger and aggression. She is completely disgusted by this guy. So then she dances for him and makes him sit on his own hands so that he won't be tempted. Now, obviously, David is still the king, but at this point, I would put Deontay right behind him, which means Sean has now been bumped out of the trifecta of simpage. But it ain't over yet because he's actually in another season coming up, so we'll see what happens there. So in this clip, they all go out to eat and Deontay invites his friend and Nicole invites her friend from prison. Then she decides it would be a good idea to invite her ex-girlfriend as well. Why not? What are you looking for? Nobody. Who, who is nobody? My friend might come tonight. What friend? Her name's Tia. I just have to say again, this dude is awesome because he knows exactly what is going on and he completely tears this entire thing apart. Have you slept with her? All he had to do was ask one question to completely throw her off. One question that Deontay never bothered to ask. Yeah, no, that. She my Serious right now? What? When was this? I slept with her like one time. It makes sense to say like three or four times, but she said like one time, which clearly means it was more than that because you'd remember if it was only one time. But I can't even touch the mother. <laughs> Dude, don't you remember? She has anxiety about touching you only. How many times did you do the nasty in prison? You want to know the truth? Yes, please. All right, hold on. Wow, she got the multiply times two, carry the four. I don't even have anything to add. This guy is, is hilarious. They should have this guy talk to every single couple on this show. Six. Six. Wow, and I that was it keeps dating. going up. Six, and I was dating was four of them. Every day, all day. Back, hold on, back up, back up. Did you hear that? She wants you now. She said she was dating four of them. Yes, I did hear it, and now if you'll excuse me, I think I'm just gonna melt into the floor and disappear. So literally right after this conversation, she steps outside to call her ex-girlfriend. Yo, who the you talking to? Did he just spawn next to her? Why are you tripping right now, Deontay? No, who the f you talking to? What do you mean I'm talking to no, my don't friend? Don't sit out here and embarrass me in front of my boy. Wow, he's finally standing up for himself. It's a little too late, but it's good that he's finally doing it. So she is clearly very manipulative and is gaslighting him on this whole situation, acting like, what are you talking about? Nothing's happening. Nothing's happening. Why is it so hard for you to spend one night with me? That f makes me uncomfortable. But you ain't uncomfortable with me spending my money on you. Oh shit. You two are supposed to be in love and she's uncomfortable to spend a night with you. Now if there was some sort of experience or reason as to why she felt that way, it would make sense, but clearly she's saying that only with you. Alright, so the next clip we're gonna look at is when he finally meets her mother. Hello? Oh, hey. I like how he just appears there, staring blankly. Come in. This okay. is Deontay. Hello. Hello. How are you, sir? I'm fine. How are you? I'm fine. You look a little scared. Uh... Yeah, I don't know why he came in that way and was just staring without breaking eye contact at all. Yeah, I am nervous as all hell. <laughs> She's got that mom teacher stare where she stares into your eyes look like you were the one staring i don't know maybe she was staring too i don't you guys are all just staring at each other and nicole's over there staring at the phone that deontay paid for don't talk about me well first off i know it's kind of weird how i uh how i met nicole um who goes online and looks for prisoners for love right wow you're making a really good pitch for yourself right there i love nicole and um i don't know if she told you but we're we're engaged She didn't tell her because apparently Nicole didn't even know they were engaged. Now she could be lying, but I could also see how Deontay would think they were engaged based on some sort of misunderstanding. Oh gosh, she didn't tell you. Y'all are engaged. Well, if by engaged you mean I give her money and then she talks to other people behind my back, then yes. Alright, so the next clip we're going to look at, Deontay and Nicole get into a huge argument about, well, you will see. What's that? My boob appointments. I got the price sheet right here. 
Don't act mad because you literally know that boobs are thousands of dollars. Oh boy, here we go again. She won't even touch you, yet she wants you to buy her fake boobs so other people can touch them. Please, Deontay, I'm losing my sanity here. We've talked about this before. This is actually really cheap, $6,000. Cause guess what? I thought it was gonna be eight, so I was like, ooh, this is good. Oh baby, that's a lot of money. Hey babe, why don't you use some of that 30 grand that I sent you to pay for it? Oh, you didn't save any of it? You spent it all in prison? Oh, that's okay. I totally understand. Ramen noodles can get expensive. But you said you were gonna pay it. And I don't know what you, I said. But you literally, like, I'm irritated because you just got me so excited and you don't even have the money to pay for it. I don't have any money because I sent it all to you. Why don't you pay for it? I don't, I don't have shit anymore. You took everything. It's just me and Nicole Jr. now. Well, if I gotta bust my ass at work or not pay my rent, I will figure it out. You would not pay your uh, bills to pay for my boob job? That's what it takes to keep you satisfied, baby. I guess so. Okay. That makes me a little happy. Think about this for a second, please. She's saying it makes her happy to know that you won't be able to pay rent because you're giving her money. She is happy if you are miserable and unable to pay your bills as long as she's getting what she wants. You know what? <laughs> Tia's birthday, I forgot. Ugh. I need to call her and tell her happy birthday. Oh, here we go again with the ex-girlfriend. Tia. Yeah. The same one you used to date. You just still communicate with this person. I mean, she's my friend, Deontay. I wouldn't do like that. Listen, if you ever want to see my fake boobs that you're going to buy for me, then you better be nice. I'm trying to come take care of you. <laughs> but if I was in there talking to my ex, it'll be a problem. I don't want to meet his mom. Come get me. So now she's in the other room using the phone that he paid for, calling her ex to come pick her up. What the is this? Oh no, she's found Nicole Jr. Oh my god, Not he's good. So Disgusting. Did I just hear her say what? She has been looking for a reason to get angry with him or to break it off with him and she has just found it. She's supposed to be meeting his mother tonight, by the way, too. I walk over here, it's underneath the bed. When I was in prison, Deontay told me that he had a sex toy. Oh, the thought of him this thing just... It, it creeps me out. All right, maybe the uncomfortable thing wasn't bullshit after all. Sitting in here in my house, making a joke out of me, some bitch of a Were you sitting in here? I heard all that. What I, I want say? you to come Please get me. I want you to come get me. Oh, okay, that. oh, so I'm just here. No, you right. are tripping. I asked so her here. to come and get me. You are tripping. I didn't say come and get me. I asked her to come and get me. I asked her to come and get me. I don't want to be here. I heard what you said. Yeah, saying. because I just found that dumbass sex. Oh, that. Oh, that. Oh, you trying to doll is freaking me out. Back. Know what to say anymore. Well, first off, she said that she wanted to leave before she even found that thing, so that's that's just a lie right there. Secondly, dude, that is the creepiest shit ever. Don't do that. Especially don't tell her about it and don't name it after her. And especially don't tell her mother about it, which actually happened, but I did not have a clip of it. So in this final clip we're gonna look at here, Deontay drops her off at her mother's house as usual, but he notices that she sat out on the front porch on her phone, which he found to be unusual. He suspects that she's about to meet up with her ex so he parks down the street to spy on her and sure enough some dude shows up i guess he doesn't make her uncomfortable you know who i am bro nah, i'm a man that. dog i'm the she was just with five minutes ago i feel like i'm gonna throw up my heart's pounding i do have to give this guy some credit for standing up for himself especially right in front of her ex what's up nicole i'll explain to you you serious you just met my mama bro you know what i've been through and you gonna do me like that after all this I did for you, you serious? Hey babe, whenever you're done flipping out, can you give me some money? Cause I think we're gonna go pick up a bottle of wine for our date night. She went into prison, but we definitely kept in the communication, you know, throughout the whole time. Give me my mother cell phone. Give me the cell phone, Nicole. Oh, you don't wanna give me the phone? Beck, keep the phone. I'm a deactivate the bitch. So this seems like it should be the end for these two, but I almost guarantee that Deontay is gonna go back to her. In the episode coming up, it showed him saying that he still thinks that she's in love with him and that he's in love with her. I mean, I guess, I guess you can't stop true love. That's clearly what this is. All right, well, that's all I got for this one. Thanks for stopping by and watching the video. I hope you enjoyed this mess. I will hopefully see you for the next train wreck.